Hello, this is Jennifer Bailey. In this lecture, I'm going to show you how to use some more basic formula. So we use multiplication, subtraction, and the use of brackets. And we look at the difference between adding a cell reference and a number into a formula. Now we're going to start adding the formula for our gross pay deductions and net pay columns. So our gross pay is basically our hours worked multiplied by our rate of pay. So all we need to do in this cell is type in equals to let Excel know we're going to do a mathematical formula. And this time we're going to use just cell references. And you can enter these by just clicking on the cell you want to use, the multiplication sign, and then selecting the second cell. And now you can just click the tick. Now the beauty of this is when you use a cell reference, so C4 multiplied by D4, when you copy this formula down the column, Excel automatically updates the formula to match the other rows. So if we now click on this last cell, you can see that it's multiplied C34 by D34, which are these two cells here, which makes this total correct. So this time we're going to look at our deductions column and we're going to find out what 25% is of our gross pay, which is this cell here. So when you're doing formula, you can use brackets in the same way as you'd use brackets if you're doing any mathematical problem on paper. So what we're going to do is we're going to type equals, open brackets, and this time I'm going to type in E4, but you could easily click on the cell. E4 divided by, so this time we use the backslash key, 100, close brackets, multiplied by 25, and push enter. So that's now calculated 25% of this cell here. Now you don't have to use the brackets, there is an easier way to do this particular sum, so let's take that out. So equals E4 multiplied by 25%. Both will give you the same answer. And again, we copy and paste the formula down the column. Now lastly, we're going to work out our net pay. So our net pay is our gross pay take away our deductions. So we type in equals, gross pay minus F4, which is our deductions, push enter. And then again, we can copy the formula down the column and it updates accordingly. So if we just check, there we are, E4 minus F34. The beauty of using cell references over numbers in formulas is it means they can update themselves. So if we go back at the top here. Now for example, if on this Monday we didn't work 8 hours, we've made a mistake, we can now change the 8 to a 7, and did you notice the gross pay, the deductions and the net pay automatically updated themselves. If we'd used actual numbers in here, so say, for example, we had typed in 7 multiplied 6.31, that would take away the advantage of being able to update our spreadsheet. By using cell references, it just refers to the cell and the figure in there rather than the actual value. So it's not fixed. Just took that back there. So all of these can be updated automatically by changing our hours worked. Now in a later video I'm going to show you how to set your rate of pay. So rather than your rate of pay being in every single row here, I'm going to show you how to use absolute referencing, which means if your rate of pay goes up, rather than having to go back and change in all the formula here, we'll just change it in one place and it will update the rest of the spreadsheet. In this video, we've looked at adding a formula to our spreadsheet. 
we've used multiplication and subtraction and we've also used brackets to perform a formula. I'm Jennifer Bailey and thank you for watching.